Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide here to Project Zomboid. Working in our home and thinking about what skills we want to raise up. So we practiced doing a little bit of tailoring, and we got tailoring um, halfway up, and it's still cranked because we read the book. We leveled up cooking by watching TV, and we got our carpentry up, but we need to continue to build carpentry higher and higher so that we can get ourselves into the realm of being able to make a rain barrel. So that's going to take a bit of work. We also would like to raise um, electrical so that we can repair the generator and hot wire vehicles so we'd like a higher electrical we need a, a one electrical and two mechanics to be able to hot wire vehicles so that's another skill that we can upgrade and all we really need to do for electrical is have a screwdriver on us and then with a screwdriver you can dismantle electric devices like this lamp um, if i disassemble it I have a very low chance, it's only a chance of 20, to actually get what I want out of this, um, and the scrap and such, because my skill is so low, and plus I'm not going to actually work on doing anything like that for the time being, because I want to go read my book. Now, this was a tip that was given. Another thing that you can disassemble, I use this bed, so I don't want to disassemble this bed, but I can just disassemble this door, and I don't have a huge chance to do it. But you can see that our carpentry is 37.25. Boom. And we did get a plank. And um, we got 37.25 up to 39.75. So we got about a 2.5 increase to our skill by breaking apart a door. And we got a plank. So I'm going to grab the plank. And pick that up. Okay. And we can go around over here. I could take apart this. Well, it might be nice to have that door on the bedroom. But this door, you know, we can just start getting rid of some more stuff. Like that. And we want to keep the TV, of course. Disassemble the doors. This is just another thing that we can do. Make getting around our house easier. Now, you don't want to do this on doors that you'd like to keep, of course. But, you know. For now, it's just fine. I sometimes use this bed, too. I like to have options for my beds. All right. And this door we can get rid of. You can see that we're slowly, slowly, but surely boosting up. We need to drink, so I'll do that. And let's go downstairs. And we can, you know, disassemble this. All right, terrific. There's a bunch of clothes that we could rip apart. There's some jeans. Um, so if we have some scissors, we can cut up the jeans for denim strips. Well, let's just go ahead then and take a look inside some of these containers. I'm curious, did I get a pair of scissors yet? I feel like I did, but maybe not. We could, if we wanted, you know, be in the business of making a better weapon, if we wanted to make a spear or something like that, but uh, I'm just going to do this alphabetically, and no, no scissors yet. I'll need, I'll keep on the eye, or keep my eye out for them. All right, let's go check our books, and here in Bookland, we have uh, an electronics magazine. Now, when you mouse over these magazines, notice how the books will boost your skill. The magazines teach you recipes. So this will teach you how to make box, like cage traps and box traps. This will teach you how to make motion sensors. A lot of the electrical stuff is like for traps and for timers and sensors and bombs and things like that. So pretty nice. But here is Electrician Volume 1, as we were talking about. We can just go ahead and pull this out. Angler Magazine. This will, you know, teach us how to make a fishing rod if we want. All right. 
And I'm going to put this up here. And we're getting bored, as you can see. So what I always like to do when we're getting bored um, is, of course... Oh, can I... Um, I don't have a sheet handy. But maybe I could uh, get a sheet so I could put it on the door there if I wanted to make it so nobody could see in. I think at some point what I'm going to do is continue to fortify this. So we could just barricade this with planks even more. There we go. Three planks on the door. And we're getting drowsy. It's 4 p.m. Let's eat something. And on the ground here. Oh, boy. Well, the canned peas have... Uh, way more calories at least we'll eat these <laughs> here's oh no these aren't actually scissors these are just sewing kits that do not have scissors inside. They have needles. All right, I'm going out. Okay. So while we're outside, I'm gonna go pull out our book, Electrician, and just read this. And just get the skill. We'll be drowsy, but that's not a big deal. Just cranking up the speed all the way. Now we're getting very tired. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and go in. And we can sleep. But we read most of the book. And I'll just lie down. Now, if we... Not safe to sleep here. Um... Why not? Okay. If we hear the helicopter, we will stay in our house. The idea is we just don't want to get spotted by it. It'll fly around. They won't know where we are as long as we stay indoors. So we're going to be kind of on the lookout for that. And nothing on TV right now. No problem. Let's go. We are peckish and thirsty. So I'll drink and go outside and try to finish reading. Let's see if the radio gives us any news. The Knox event is confirmed. Louisville and Kentucky. Cincinnati and Columbus, Ohio. Norfolk, England, London, England. It's world, it's global. Newcastle. Mogadishu, oh boy. I'm going to change to the emergency broadcast. Okay. Don't hear anything yet. I'm going to head outside. And I'm going to read my book. This way we can just drop this book. And 
we're getting hungry enough to eat a horse, which, okay. I'll go ahead and drop this. Here's where we're going to go. Uh, there's houses here and here that are worth checking out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, um, a bunch of zombies came over. Luckily, they can't really do anything. So we'll just ignore them for the time being. That fence will stop them. I'm going to drink. I probably have cleaned out this entire place. Salmon. Disgusting. All right, let's go. But I'm going to um, start being a little bit more aware. I'm going to equip my knife. And let's just make sure that, you know, we're safe. Okay. I'm going to poke in here really fast. Just see if there's some quick food for me to eat. Um, can of oats. Eat it. You could put some maple syrup on the oats. You know, eat that too. I'm actually going to put this maple syrup in my backpack. Because it has the unhappiness that it cures. I, I'm looking out too for a bigger backpack. And maybe even something like a suitcase to carry in my offhand. I've seen many of them, but I haven't really done too much vis-a-vis -vis getting them. Alright, so there's a shed here which could be good. Ah, oh, there's a barbecue. Uh, I'd like to pick that up. But there, it, that shed is guarded. Now, I haven't been in this house yet, so I'm going to have to look around very carefully. There's zombies all over the place over there. So let's look inside the house. Looks empty. Don't see any trouble. Okay. Go ahead and sneak just in case. What's around the corner here? All right. I see zombies behind me. Okay, what about around the front of the house? It actually looks all right. So this barbecue, this is a big one. Um, BBQ info. So it has 20 hours of fuel on it, which we could use. It's propane. Um, and... You could take out the tank, so we could, like, replace our propane tank, perhaps, if we wanted to. And if we go to this, and we say, pick up, you know, um, the barbecue, we can't do it as easily. It says you need to remove um, the propane tank to be able to pick it up. And it's encumbrance 15. So the problem is... Um, even if we put everything down, it would be really, really heavy for us. All right. I'm going to try to get in through this window. There we go. All right. Let's check in this house. Flip on the lights. Anybody in here? Oh, look, this is a barricaded house. So, no, no, never mind. No, it's not. I got tricked. I thought that these were planks for a second graphically. No, no, no. This house has been broken into. Um, fair enough. Ooh, look, a Woodcraft VHS. We will take that and put it in our bag. And Trapping Volume 1 could be good. So, I'll put this in my backpack. All right, um, we've got some rotten food somebody was creating. Charming. All right, I'm going to go over here. Oh, even the front door has been 
busted through. So this is something where we have to be really, really careful. Make sure there's no zombies on the porch. It doesn't look like there are. So for now... Uh, there's boots, which... If we compare... Like, look at our rain boots. Our rain boots are very similar to these boots. So in that sense, we're we're fine. We don't need to get these. There's some better boots that we could find. All right. Uh, there's a bunch of alcohol here. I'm just going to continue looking on this bottom floor. All right. What do you got in here in this garage? Metal pipes and wire. What are about these boxes? A hockey stick. Nice. Its condition is terrible, and it breaks when used one-handed, but that's fun. They got hockey equipment galore. Uh, we could get a sheet, bath towel. These are okay. Empty bucket. Um, I mean, we could use these to collect water. Very true. All right, what you got in this processed cheese? It's nice. Plates, can openers. All right. Cooking pot, always good for getting water. Crackers, brown sugar, tea bags. Mouse trap. This is actually something uh, you can use to try to forage for mice to eat as delightful as that sounds aluminum spaghetti pasta okay so there's a good amount of food here but what are we doing uh, let me check this room and we're gonna check the upstairs bathroom anything in here razor meh go ahead and drink all right This is a very scary house because it's all open. All right. Okay. I'm going to flip the lights on. All right. Reasonable so far. Okay, nothing in this closet. All right, let's check it out. There's a magazine and headphones. Uh, there's Carpentry Level 1, which we know. At least I think we do. Level 1 and 2. Well, we're actually... I don't know if we knew it or not. Actually, I don't think we did get it, but we now we need the next Carpentry book because we're at levels... We need the one for levels 3 and 4. All right, we'll look around in here. What you got? What's going on? V-neck sweater. That's great. You need to have a v-neck to uh, expose your neck to zombies. All right. And sandals. Delightful. All right. Well, look at that. There's Carpentry Volume 2. That's actually a godsend for us. And there's Angler uh, 2, so we can learn how to make a fishing net. We'll take it. Looking good. Mm -hmm -hmm. Foraging level three. Uh, tailoring level two. I mean, I guess. Make sure we get all these skill books. And trapping. I think we have trapping volume one, I think. All right, there's glue and tape. Put that in the pack. All right. Sadly, I don't think I saw any scissors in the, in any of this stuff yet, but that's all right. Painkillers is great, so are sleeping tablets. Just throw those in here. And what else you got? 
bandage and adhesive bandage. Great. All right. Um, oh, there's the suitcase. Okay, perfect. And a shotgun. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of both. Um, oh, these leather gloves are way better than our fingerless gloves. Finally, great. All right, so we're going to wear these leather gloves. And I'm going to um, equip the suitcase as my secondary. So you'll see I'm just going to start carrying around a suitcase. And then we could take this shotgun and, like, put it in the suitcase. That'll go right through customs, no problems at all. And then our main inventory has a bunch of stuff. Uh, these fingerless gloves will just drop. The screwdriver and the saw, maybe I can put these in my bag. The VHS can go in the suitcase. You can see we could carry a lot more if we do it this way. The hammer we can put in the suitcase, stuff like this to just kind of balance out some of our, uh, our weight problems. All right, there we go. So we can carry everything that we have, but it's getting tight. All right. Honestly, that's this whole house. I think we just checked it all, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. And it's about 6 p.m. So I'm going to head back home. So we know that there's a grill here if we wanted to use this to boil our water or bake our water. I'm going to stop sneaking. It's really not necessary. Mercifully, the zombies are separated from us. So I'm going to come back to our house. Man, we're sweating a bit. No problem. And I'm going to stand here and I'm going to actually just read the rest of this book. Oh, no, don't, don't equip it. Sorry. Oh, dear God. What have I done? Um. Well, anyway. Uh, here. Equip this as secondary. And then read this book. There we go. We're almost done with it. I'm just going to hold this down. And we're wet, which is, you know, we're sweaty. And now it's moist. We've dried off in the sun a little bit. We're getting slightly thirsty. And let's just finish this book. Got it. I'm going to move. And I'm going to drop this book on the ground. Okay. So let's go inside. 6 p.m. And time to just, you know, empty stuff out. So we have some guns over here as well as these sewing kits. All right. So let's do it. I'm going to... We could start putting stuff in these cabinets here. They'll be convenient. So we'll just go ahead and sort by category. And... I'm going to put some... You know, crafting materials up here. So, uh, let's see. Medicine, beta blockers, painkillers, antidepressants, sleeping tablets. All this can go in here. Um, this shotgun can also go in here. I'm going to just put guns all over the house, you know, so that wherever I'm at, I'll be able to find a gun, blow things away. All right. And the mousetrap we can set. All right. And let's go put, put the books downstairs. 
so the mouse trap we'll just go ahead and um let's see can i just right click here and um, do you have to equip this or do you just drop it on the ground and then mess with it here we go so you equip it and you can right click and then say place trap and you need to then move the mouse you can see there's like a little mouse trap i'll put it over here in this corner and you might be able to catch something all right and move down here and go to the bookshelf we're going to empty out now well, this vhs i'm just going to drop it onto the ground right by the vhs player it does say woodcraft so let's go ahead and see what would happen if we um you know uh, drag a vh taste vhs in here i'll do that and play and let's just see what happens woodcraft episode seven you are watching woodcraft so it's reducing our boredom your one-stop shop for home improvement <laughs> it's talking about stairs and how much women love stairs interesting and advanced knowledge of carpentry our carpentry is going up is what it says and you can't if you have it moused over you see this it looks static but notice how every once in a while um, of us standing here it'll be going up so like it was at 50 now it's at 90. And now we're up to 115, just from watching this VHS. So we're definitely not bored, and we boosted our skills a ton. And we'll just tune into Life and Living. And now I'm going to actually go into the bookshelf, and we will go into our backpack. I'm going to take out Angler, Tailoring, Trapping, put them all over here. All right, tremendous. And I'm actually going to, we need to eat and drink, no problem. Let me get some food from over here. Let's see what happens if I open the evaporated milk. See how happy this makes me. It does both so we can drink all it doesn't give us a lot um, but it gives us some reprieve of hunger and um, thirst so not bad actually drop this on the ground equip this in the primary all right tremendous now we raised our electrical skill up by, well, not really. We read the book. So reading the book means that we can skill up. So if we go to this lamp and we just say, hey, disassemble. No, I don't want to disassemble that. I want to actually um, disassemble this lamp. Now, sometimes there is no lamp. It's just like a lie that there's actually a lamp there. It looks like it graphically. Um, there it is. Okay. And let's just do this. Now, check out my skill on electrical. I have zero experience. I'm just going to speed this up. And we busted it. But we got 3.75 from that lamp. Some of the best ways to raise your electrical early. Lamps are good. Disassembling anything that you can really will raise this. But uh, watches. So if you can find watches on zombies. Wrist watches. And just take those apart. Um, you can you know, do pretty well for boosting up your skill. It's not the most efficient, but it's, you know, better than nothing. 
All right. And you can see that we've boosted our skill a whole 7.5 points. How about that? And we're going to go into um, our bag. And I'm just going to read um, Carpentry Level 2. We want to get a boost on skill 3 and 4. So I'll just read as much as I can before my character light gets extremely tired. Just to chip away at this, make some progress. And now, even without finishing the book, by the way, I should mention that you do get a multiplier of a, of a degree. Okay, I need to sleep now. So, you don't get the full multiplier. That you can see how, like, you get multiplier at level 3 if you complete the book, which is the best. But you get a portion of it based on the percentage that you've read. So we're getting a multiplier of one on Carpentry, which is good. But we definitely want to finish the book to get more. Um, let me... Go ahead and... Oh, we could eat some processed cheese boy it doesn't really give you that much does it but we might as well eat it before it goes bad and we're getting thirsty so let's just drink that red wine this will be good for us trust me we're a little bit tipsy and let's go out here And we will pour this into our tumbler. And we will um, just drink. Oh, we don't even need to. We'll automatically drink. Okay. Now, let me check my radio. Really? Oh, the radio's upstairs. Let's check the radio really fast. Any news? All right, they, they're confirming the Knox event. Talk radio, nothing. Broadcast, okay. Nothing yet. But we're going to want to start bringing in our water and baking it before the electricity runs out. So a lot of what we're really looking for right now is a generator... A car for us. Better duffel bag. Alright. And let's see. Let's check these Zeds really quickly. Briefs. Socks. Nah, nothing good there. Well, I'm carrying the water because I filled up the container. That's That's a disaster. Okay. So let me go back, actually. What I need to do more than anything, then, is uh, just go ahead and grab this cooking pot with water. How many can I carry? Grab them all. Let's see if I can put them in my backpack. All right, so our encumbrance is just low enough that we can, you know, shimmy up this rope. And I'm going to go over here to the oven, and we'll go ahead and just put in these tainted cooking pots into the oven. Okay, 
and I'm going to turn on the oven. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take this cooking pot and I'm just going to put it, um, you know, on the ground right here. And we can just kind of watch the oven. And this is already done. So we'll turn it off and take these out and just put them on the ground as well. So now we have three pots of water. All done. All right. Well, we learned how to... Um, dismantle some lamps practicing with electrical and what we did was we watched a VHS to raise our carpentry and now we have some books going for electrical tailoring and carpentry we got a suitcase that we're going to carry around now we've boiled a bunch of our water and we're continuing to just expand um, our defenses we got ourselves some better gloves uh, so our protection overall is pretty good and we can continue to boost this up uh, with higher tailoring Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and helpful. That sounded like a gunshot. Um, that's a little alarming. And I will check you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.